Hi, it's Diana Mercer again, and I'm here with Stephanie Maloney, our certified divorce financial analyst, uh, mediator, and she, you're just a terrific mediator. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> you know you really are. You really are. And um, I wanted to tell you about this case that we did um, a couple of years ago, and it was a husband and wife, and um, ironic, and um, the wife was kind of gatekeeping with the kid. And she was like, I need to have the child with me every Monday through Friday and like school nights because I don't think you'll do the homework and I'm just really concerned about that and I want the kid with me all school nights. And the husband got like really upset and he was negotiating as we were... Money for the kids. No, no, no. No, no. no not... Uh, he was like just pushing back. I want more time. I want more time. I want more time. And it was kind of going around in circles and I mean, you know how that goes. So what we did was I finally asked him, you know, what was it about the more time? What would that... What goal would that help him accomplish? And that's a thing called needs-based or interest-based negotiation. And when he got down to it, he said, you know what? My father ran out on us when I was little, and uh, he was never really there for us. And I pledged to myself that when I had a son and when I had my own children that I would never, ever do that. And so being able to be with my kids more time and being able to be with them on the weeknights is a really important part of being a father to me. And when the wife heard that, her whole thing changed. She just, she completely softened. Once she got it, she really got it and said, you know what, I totally believe that and you're a great dad and yeah, let's work it out and we're going to have to figure this homework thing out. So what's your experience with these kinds of interest-based negotiations? Well, I think that's true. I think being able to really hear where someone's coming from and hear their experiences uh, maybe that made the wife feel a little bit more comfortable about uh, is dad actually going to do the homework? Um, you know, maybe in the past he's worked a lot because she's been there to take care of him. And, and so she really didn't know or have the confidence that he was going to be able to do that. Well, now that she's heard his, his value system, then she understands that he would be available to do that. So hearing someone's value system and, or values and beliefs can really change what you think, how they're going to behave. So when you hear somebody's position and you don't agree with it, it's really important to ask, like, why do you want that? How would that help you? What would that do? And then you can get to what the underlying interest is. And in this case, she totally, identi totally identified. 